here we have a peak flow meter. Uh, what this does is this actually measures how much air a person can actually expire from their lungs over um, a short period of time. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to blow out air maximally. Uh, so the air is gonna go into this tube, which is gonna raise this um, uh, red piece up, and then this is going to give us a reading. So it's going to kind of elevate and get um, up and in. And so this measurement is going to be in liters per minute. Um, this is generally for individuals that might have um, an asthmatic condition. One of the problems with asthma is that individuals are, have difficulty expiring air, and then all that air kind of stays in their lungs, and so when they try to breathe in fresh air, they don't have any room for that fresh air to come in. And so this allows us to um, kind of test for that. Uh, most of the time we use this as a predictor of whether or not an individual should go out and participate in their particular activity. So what they would do is beforehand, they would blow and give a number um, uh, to see what they are, are at. And then if that isn't within, an, if that's within a normal range, they would be good to practice. If it's not within a normal range, then you would wanna minimize or limit their practice. So ideally at some point in time, you would get a baseline and then we have these uh, ability to kind of slide these top and bottom um, kind of numbers on here that give us kind of a green, yellow, or red range. So anything above the green line, they're good to go, no restrictions on their participation. Anything in the yellow zone is going to be a monitoring of their, or a, um, a altering of their practice. And then anything red means that they shouldn't be practicing whatsoever, and they would just wanna make sure that they're taking their medication. So generally speaking, anything above 80% of their normal is, should be in the green zone. Anything from 70 to 50% of their normal is in the yellow zone. Anything below 50% of their normal should be in the red zone. So we'd always wanna do this when they're fully functioning, fully in a good position. Uh, this particular one has a mouthpiece that you can actually place on there just to make sure that you're not the same person isn't putting their mouth of, um, over the piece. And one thing that you want to make sure is that you don't hold the um, peak flow meter like this because that's blocking where the air is going to actually come out on the back side. And what that will do is that will, you know, that will create more pressure and give you a false reading um, going um, up through the, um, the peak flow meter. So I wanna hold it off to the side just like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice deep breath in and blow out as fast and quick as I possibly can. And you'll see this raised up and then it moved this red kind of line up to um, about 620 liters per minute. We wanna do this more than once. So it gives them an opportunity to try it. So I would mark down that 620. I would do it again. This time I was a little bit lower. I was at 600 and I would do it one more time. And this time I got up to 630. So you always wanna take um, the highest, um, which would be the maximum amount of liters per minute that you're able to do. And that again, that sets our uh, benchmark. So 600 and, uh, 640. Take that by 80% and 50%, those gives you those um, up and down zones. So you could set these for a particular athlete. So every day when an individual came, they would blow and see what um, their uh, measurements were and they could manage their um, process expectations based on how they were experiencing and feeling that day.